Hi, this is Priya Parthasarathy. Welcome to another episode of Demystifying Digital. Subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below indicating what kind of business you own and I will try and make a video about digital marketing techniques specific to that business. One of the most common questions that entrepreneurs are faced with is should their business have a website? Should their uh, business have social channels if they are not in retail side of uh, business? So these are questions best answered by first of all understanding the purpose of digital properties, each of the digital properties and then trying to answer whether it is suitable for your business or not. Number one is the website. Now almost everybody wants to have a website. In fact, uh, you might get uh, SMS or you know people messaging you on social media promising to build a website for you for 2000 rupees or something like that. But before you fall for such promises, understand what are the costs and what are the things involved in having a website and maintaining it properly. Then you can make an informed choice as to whether you have to invest in one and how to use it in the best possible way. The number one requirement for your website is having a domain name. What is a domain name? Domain name is your website's address. So www.amazon.in or flipkart.com are website addresses and that those are their domain names. Now having a domain name is a first priority for any website. You can have actually have a free domain name. For example, if you are a blogger, you might be blogging already on uh, wordpress.com. So they will give you a, a free space on their site. It could be if you are a food blogger, you could have a site called wordpress.com slash Shardas Kitchen or something like that. Uh, the problem with having such domain names is that first of all, it is not unique and it, it is difficult for people to look for you when you have a complex domain name like that. Um, and also when your business grows, it is better to have a domain name that is exclusively uh, yours you know, the, uh, or a domain name that you own exclusively and you can buy domain names on various portals. Uh, there are domain name uh, sellers like GoDaddy or uh, Google domains. I've given some links for some of these uh, domain name uh, sellers online. Uh, you could click on them and go book a domain name if you want to get one for your business. Now, what do these domain names do for your website? Now, when you when you buy a domain name, you normally lease a domain name on a, for an annual fee. Uh, it's normally not available for you to buy a domain name and sit on it forever. So, you have to lease a domain name and pay for it either on an annual basis or once in two years. Uh, you have to keep renewing your domain name. Now, how much do domain names cost normally? Uh, it could be as low as 99 rupees a year. If it is a very uh, specific domain name that other people are not buying for or if you have a very, suppose you are looking for something like bestsportshop.com or something like that. It is a domain name that is so Google friendly because anybody will come and search for best sports shop in my area or something like that. This name will automatically pop up because the name itself has all the keywords in it. So such uh, domain names are much more expensive to buy and it could cost uh, several thousand rupees a year to have. Whereas, uh, if you have a very unique name for your business, say you are called uh, um, Egmore.com, it's not even Jyoti Taylor India or Jyoti Taylor Chennai, it is Jyoti Taylor Egmore.com, which makes it, not many businesses will want that name. So, it makes it very easy to purchase names like that and they are available for a very uh, nominal cost per year. The second part is hosting. Hosting is, is a service by which your kind of website content gets called up, gets displayed when somebody searches for your, when somebody clicks on your domain name or inputs them in, a, in their browser. A hosting is provided by people who have servers. Servers are big computers that are could be anywhere in the world. And these servers give you, basically they give you a small space from their uh, computer and all your information, all the website content, all the text, all the data, your logo, everything is stored in that space on that server. And whenever somebody enters your domain name, this data gets pulled up and that is what a hosting service provides. Now, um, hosting services, uh, a good reasonable hosting provider is available for, again, this is an annual subscription service and it is available for anywhere from 4,000 to 7,000 rupees for a decent uh, hosting service. 
anything less than that uh, cheaper ones will give you uh, will host your data but they might be very slow uh, if they might give give you some spread, shared space which make your uh, data to load very slowly we did see that uh, people's attention span uh, are like so low uh, these days i mean they the people's attention span is only 8 seconds and uh, you know if your if your website takes a long time to load people lose interest and they go away so it is important to have a good uh, loading speed on your website which means that you have to have a good hosting service provider i again i've given you some links for uh, good hosting services you could uh, click on them and buy a hosting for your website then comes content now content is the most important part in a website the content is everything all the information on your website at a minimum your website should talk about what your uh, should announce your business name show the business logo talk about what are the services you are giving or the products you are selling give a contact address allow people to maybe email you to contact you uh, show your location so these are the very minimum things that any website should have now you could probably put this content together yourself if you are capable of it and if you are able to spend uh, some time on it and if you are technologically capable of doing it yourself otherwise you can hire people to do this for you but when you hire people to write content for you ensure that they can write clean english because bad english one thing it puts people off and also it makes it very confusing for google to understand what you are doing so it's important to have good content writers writing the content on your website also ensure the content writer actually understand your business because then only they can write good copy because the main purpose of a website is to communicate what your services are to your customers and to retain first of all to catch their attention and to retain this and to make them interested in hiring your services or buying your products whatever may be the case so it is important to have compelling copy on the website which means your content provider has to uh, be capable of doing that now how much would content creation cost that depends on what kind of content you have suppose you have a long product catalog which will have which involves uploading a lot of photos and images and uh, maybe videos and uh, description about each and every product all that is going to take time which means it is going to be more expensive or you could just simply have a one page static website where it is only giving the basic information and your contact information that should not cost you a lot of money so content providers are available for as low as 2000 rupees or uh, 2 lakhs of rupees also it depends on what you want to say and how well you want to say it so it is difficult to put a cost to it other cost in a website could be if you want to sell something through your website if you want to have e-commerce done through your website then you have to have a payment gateway basically uh, payment gateways enable people to input their credit card details or do net banking and pay you so that you can send them your products or they can hire your service in which case you have to integrate a payment gateway into your website which is again a cost item for a website so the various costs associated in a website are buying a domain name buying hosting writing content uploading all the relevant details and having features like payment gateway or any other additional features that your business might require so these are the cost items every business will benefit by having a website but if you are starting very small maybe you can choose not to have a website and only have all your details on social channels lot of small time entrepreneurs do that but having a website is always seen as a more professional setup not having a website would would smack of a very small business so if you can afford to have if you can afford to spend 7 8000 rupees a year have a website so that you can at least uh, you can showcase a very professional setup now it is a whole different ball game to have traffic sent to your website that requires a lot of strategies and a lot of efforts we will talk about that in another video the other most important digital property that your business can have are social accounts regardless of whether your business is small medium or large having a social media presence is a must for any business these days because half the world population has a social media account one or more in india the mobile phone penetration is 70% that includes rural areas so people are on digital channels especially the younger audience the millennials as you call them from between the age of 20 and 35 now 
they are all on social media so if you want to target the younger audience social media is the best way to reach out to them because that audience hardly is uh, consuming offline content they don't uh, they don't uh, read newspapers much they don't even watch television much they consume everything even videos everything through the digital channels so if your audience is the younger uh, population it is uh, it is a must that you have to have social channels data also suggests that almost 60 to 70% of the people on social media actually research a product on social media to see what their friends are saying about it um you know if uh, who's consumed it what are their reviews all of that they do that research before they buy a product online so it is not just enough for you to have a social presence it's also important for you to have good things being said about you on social channels now there are several social channels as you might know there are social networking accounts like facebook and linkedin or photo sharing accounts like instagram and pinterest or video sharing account like uh, youtube uh, or uh, micro blogging sites like twitter or uh, tumblr or um, knowledge sharing sites like quora and medium so these are all various kinds of social accounts that one could have whether your business is in the b2b or b2c space there are social channels that will be apt for your business we'll talk about which are the social channels suitable for which business in another video that's all for today i'll meet you in another video next week on demystifying digital don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more demystifying digital content see you next week Bye